What's up? I'm Brandon. I'm John. I'm Joey. We're Hell or High Water, and you're screeching your tires down the hot, sticky rock and roll highway. I spend my time picking up pieces of the treasure you left behind. I'm tired of breadcrumbs feeding me and all my people in line. In line. If you can make it on your own, it's my guys joey and brandon from hello high water just getting his last chug there <laughs> how's it going guys i'm doing great going good you just did a sick performance here at music what was that like for you it was awesome that was our first one back in two years yeah, well, almost two <laughs> years it's been a long time coming we had a lot of cobwebs to dust yeah. off but we <laughs> fucking ninja kicked those things right into the crowd oh yes you did you did so let's throw it back to 2011 that's when you guys started what made you come together to form this band, Hello High Water? It all started with in my big dumb head, and yeah, big dumb head. And uh, I wanted to do a new project, and um, I found uh, at the time four other fantastic musicians, and we started as a uh, project called the Black Cloud Collective. That then um, that was kind of like it was like my thing with other guys. Very quickly, I realized that the guys I had were too great to just be my thing. It was very much our thing, so we changed the name to Hell or High Water. And we put out an album um, and toured and, and kind of did our thing for since 2011, um, off and on. And we've had some great opportunities and toured with amazing bands like The Darkness and Stone Sour and The Used and uh, Avenged Sevenfold and Bullet From Event, all these crazy bands. We've had some crazy opportunities. But um, yeah, and it just started from there and, and it was this kind of gradual slow building thing and uh, we started writing our new album a couple years ago and uh, right at the beginning of doing so my other band started touring again and we just kept at first it was like what the fuck this sucks and then really we just took the time to like perfect what we wanted to show the world and uh, spent a lot of time writing a whole lot of songs and like figuring out exactly what we wanted our band to be so and here you have it today, on this fine day, in April. Is it April? It's in March. This fine day in April. In April. <laughs> and uh, Hell or High Water is here for you. For you. you. And you guys. But now, you have And you. It's for all of us. <laughs> you haven't um, put anything out in the past two years, but you had a track that came out at the beginning of this month, March. What has the response been like? It's been insane. Uh, we. We had this like funny thing where like we weren't dormant, but we weren't playing shows and hadn't released music in a long time. And one day we were looking on Spotify, and, and it was like, oh my god, we have like almost twenty thousand monthly listeners on Spotify. And we're like, we're not doing anything. Who are these people that are listening to our band? And uh, the single came out, and it's been crazy. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> That's my friend Kyle. He works at a bar in Huntington Beach called Johnny Saloon. Go there if you haven't yet. Um, yeah, so much, so many that. facts, so much information. We do that. Um, but yeah, in the last week, it's um, over doubled. That number is over doubled, and like thousands of people are listening to the song every day, and radio stations keep adding it, and it's it's been really cool, and and, and it's a it's a very very fun time right now. Yeah. Very you, weird. As you can tell, I'm real upset about it. <laughs> I, I can tell. I can real tell. But you also have your album coming out. Yes. So May tell me more about that. Vista the album. May 19th. This of the album comes out, and you know, like he said, two years of working on it. We wrote 64 songs. <laughs> I told somebody 80 before. Were you we lying, Brandon? Were you lying? Songs. It was a lot of fucking yeah, songs. After 300 songs of writing an album, we chose these 11, 12. How many songs 11. are on the album? 11. Okay, hey, wait, but you need to tell me about that process. So how did you nail it down? Because, because I'm sure that wasn't an even battle <laughs> between all of you. You ever seen like an awkward husband and wife fight in public? It was like that with five dudes a bunch of times. Look at me cringing. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. It was like 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 I I could have very well been like I hate your shirt and I don't like the way your hair looks today and it was like well I think your hat's stupid and I think your breast stinks. I like the shirt. And we just talk like that for hours at a time. And then we pick the songs. Yeah. <laughs> John, come be in this interview. This is our guitar player. Oh, John. John, come in. Say what's up, new music buzz. 
What's up, New Music Buzz? Is... Is up. That's what's up. That's not the only thing that's buzzing. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. So now tell me, where did this passion for music come from, though? Because you guys have been doing music for so long, now you're together in the band. Where did the passion come from originally? Maybe he's born with it, maybe it's Maybelline, but I think he's born with it. Maybelline. My hair is better at music than my fingers are, but that's true also. Super talented. We just love what we do, you know? We're, we're very fortunate. Uh, I think band, a band at any capacity, whether you play to five people a night or 50,000, you're just lucky to be alive and do what you love. We all are very aware of that and just very uh, thankful for that. And I think that when we get on stage at shows, when we write music at shows, just fucking love what we do. Got to just love what you do, then it's not work, right? No. I, I love what I do. I'm having the best time with you guys. <laughs> but this, no, what? You're not at work. I'm not at work. At a festival talking to three, three crazy guys. Three good looking dudes at a festival. You know? And speaking of the festival though, the joy, it's about cars and tattoos as well, a lot of rock. Are you guys tattoo and car fans? Uh, yeah, I mean, we have a bunch of amazing tattoos from amazing artists. He got this tattoo last year. Uh, okay, you got a show. He got this tattoo last year. At Music. Whoa. Yeah, that's my wife's eyeball. Your wife's eyeball? No way. Yeah. Uh, an incredible artist named Rich Pineda did it. And uh, it was awesome. Yeah. Is that something that you've been wanting for a long time? You just thought, I've got to do it here at Music because it's all the best guys? Yeah, he, like, he, was, he wasn't planning on tattooing last year. And I was like, hey, you want to tattoo at Music? And he's like, yes. And so then it happened. The, the owl too? Yeah. Oh, guys, you are just the best. Okay, so for your fans out there, what do you want to tell them about this new album? Where can they find you? What's, what's happening? You can uh, pre-order the album now. You can go to our website, hellorhighwaterofficial.com. Uh, you can pre-order on iTunes or Amazon or Tidal or wherever you buy digital music, you can pre-order it there. Um, our single I Want It All is out now. I'm going to talk straight to you. And you. And also you. <laughs> and you, you in the in back. The back. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can pre-order it now. It comes out May 19th. Um, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook at Hell or High Water Official. You can find us on Twitter, uh, Hell or High Water with a zero, not an O. Uh, some asshole already had Hell or High Water. <laughs> Give us the name. Give us the name. Yeah, but, uh, yes. <laughs> Jimmy from Jimmy. Iowa is yeah. holding the name for Hell or High Water. We need it. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, you can find us all there, and, and hopefully you can find us at a, a live concert venue near you. And come, come see us play music, and you'll have a good time. You'll feel good things, I promise you. Your energy, I love it, and I love your performance. I mean, let's see you next year at the yes, same place, same time. Yeah. Next year, and the year after, and the year after, and the year after, and the year after, but not the year after that. Okay, but the year after that. 2021, we're not gonna be here. Okay. Yeah. 22? That's a good number. 22, we're back. 